spindle um, CNC lathe with, with a Y axis so the tools move up and down, back and forth, in and out. Uh, so X, Y, Z. Uh, we got live milling in X and Z so we can drill the end of the part, we can cross drill, mill up and down. Um, the spindle moves in, picks off the part, pulls it out, cuts it off, spits it out into a basket. Right here, parts will end up in there. Um, the bars feed in after each part's done, it, 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 it'll feed the bar in from here. So this is the bar magazine uh, made by Iamka. Uh, basically these channels open up and then this bar will drop in, it'll push it into the machine and close back up. This supports the bar with, um, in, in a, a, a channel full of hydraulic oil so it can spin smoothly. Um, yeah, and then once it feeds it in, hit start and away you go. And how's the machine, how, how do you jog the machine? Okay, so we just got a jog button there. Yeah, so we got the Z axis here. We got X and O, X. And then you have a Y axis. So based off the center point, the tool can move up and down. So if you have multiple, um, let's see here, multiple tools, Do you have to home each each tool? Yeah, each tool you like when you first put it in the machine, you touch off on the on the tool setting probe, which I can show you. Uh, sorry. So this is the uh, touch setting probe. So you bring that down. You bring your tool in and touch in an X and a Z direction, and that gives it a position in the machine's coordinate system to work off of. And then once you tell the machine where all the tools are in relation to its home position, then you find the, the, the face of your part and said that is your your work coordinate system. <clears throat> that would be Z0, say. <clears throat> um, and then once you have the tools established and the work piece established, you can then set your sub-spindle position where it's going to pick off the part. So for instance, right? This axle being made will start off at this end. Put that away. We'll start off at that end. Get a thread put on it. It'll come in, grab the part, pull it out, keep machining, and then cut it off, spit it into a basket that flips up. It'll drop it into a basket and take it away. Um, so there's a, here's the tail stuff. We have this spindle as well. So it rotates. It'll come in, grab the part. And it's so both, both chucks will be spinning when this takes place. Uh, it'll grab it, it'll go back out <clears throat> to a predetermined distance. Keep machining. So it'll keep cutting that diameter and those grooves, and then it'll cut it right off and then it'll pull away like so and then the basket comes up into the basket and that's the end of its cycle.